I have a little uh, slideshow here of oh, some yeah. of your work. Uh, I want to show you some images, just see what comes to mind. Adam Driver, amazing actor, amazing range. Very interesting uh, thing going on here. You know, King of the Forest, uh, what was yeah. he like with? Oh, he was the best. Uh, so I actually did stills on a film um, called, oh, it's called The F Word. I just had sex, I'm about to eat nachos! I think it's called something else oh, in, uh, in, yeah, yeah. in... What If. Yes, right. But so, amazing, amazing movie. That was when I first met Adam, and he was just the most fun and outgoing and interesting person, as you can imagine. So doing this shoot with him, this was very pre-Star Wars. He didn't yeah. have anyone with him. He just showed up at this <laughs> national park in New Jersey, and uh, we went wild. Um, we, he set leaves on fire. He went in the lake. He stuck <laughs> his head in a tree. <laughs> leaves everywhere. You know, it's... Uh, it's a real joy to have someone who feels so creatively free. So Billy, I mean, I think I find what's interesting, you've got kind of the two sides of Billy, and mm -hmm. I think there can be a very composed image of Billy, which is a little more uh, serious, mm -hmm. and certainly you've captured some of that, but then there's, I know in some of our interviews, there's another side. So talk to me about like those choices, and like, do you have that conversation of like, which Billy are we getting today, or? As a photographer, I'm just there for the ride, and I'm happy to just capture yeah. what she wants to put forward. She knows exactly who she is. I wish that I had had that confidence when I was her age, but I mm -hmm. think that as she's getting older, she's kind of coming into her other side a bit more, um, leaning into the fashion, feeling like she doesn't owe the world any of her sort of edgy right. juvenile behavior, um, which is so cool and fun. And again, like I wish I had been like that when I was 17. Back to Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, Carrie, what a, what a, I, I gotta imagine this was a, a blast. Carrie is a, I mean, she was just, a, a, I mean, you can tell without ha having met her or spent any time with her what kind of a person she was, but, she was some something really special. Mm -hmm. um, she, we did this project for a, a web series I was working on, where we photographed celebrities with their pets, and nobody loved their pet <laughs> more than Carrie loved Gary. Gary, look at <laughs> oh, that. Oh man, and um, their bond was uh, unbreakable. They, just the most special connection, um, and she too was just a, very comfortable in herself, like, yeah. very confident. Um, just the kind of person you want to spend more time with. Amazing. Uh, our very own. Dogs. So dogs is like a real theme here. <laughs> just a shocker. That, I imagine that must have been uh, challenging. So this was the best day, yeah. first of all. It was my birthday. Nice. Happy birthday, Caitlin! <laughs> we brought dogs in from a rescue organization called Lost Boys Hope and had the puppies running wild and it was just about the best thing I could have ever imagined for my birthday. I mean, the thing about Dan is that he he also knows who he is, yeah. right? He knows exactly who Dan Levy is and how he's separate from his family legacy. Right. Um, and just my job to bring that forward and just to have fun and just yeah. be silly, but be sexy and be fun and be free. Uh, it was a really good day. And then we have uh, your pal Aubrey here. Never heard of him. <laughs> All right. Quite a few photos with him, of course, very famous one. Um, I saw like the wider shot, where this is all just like in a studio somewhere, This is right? in a studio, yeah. So the whole Views booklet yeah. was conceived of by his creative team, and they're brilliant. Um, they called me and said, hey, do you want to shoot Drake, the next Drake yeah. album cover? And I said, yeah, you know, sure, yeah. happy to. Um, I had a three-month-old baby at the time, and uh, so they sent me the PDF of all their concepts, and I said, you know, when were you thinking of doing this? Uh, oh, which one? Which of these ideas? And they said, all of them. <laughs> and I said, okay, great, sure, yeah, 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 fully, totally, um, great. So we got to work. My team, yeah. you know, produced this whole shoot. We did three days, um, maybe eight or nine full setups uh, for the for the booklet. And of course, the cover is you know, is this iconic image, which went viral in a way that I could have never anticipated. Someone who's very mm. aware of herself. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I wonder how you, you get someone to lower their, their defenses and just 
you know, well, play Well, this along. was a very long time ago, yeah. let me tell you. This was for Holt Renfrew uh, during the Suits era. Oh, and This was okay. a, a pre Harry era. Okay. So things were quite a bit right. different, I would say, at that <laughs> the time. The shields hadn't gone full up yet. No, no. This was a, um, a pre royalty Meghan Markle version. So mm -hmm. I think. Um, Do you still see that Meghan now when you kind of just see her come across your TV or no. Instagram? Yeah. No. I mean, yeah. How, you, how can you not change, yeah. right, when, when that becomes your life? But um, this was, you know, she was being recognized for suits back then. We were in Kensington Market and people yeah. were, like, stopping her because Aww. she was in suits. So, That's awesome. You know, this guy. Looks like a lot of fun, this, this shoot. This was fun. We drove out uh, an RV into the desert. It was very Breaking Bad <laughs> and very Mad Max. Um, this was for uh, Luomo Vogue, and it was uh, just a joy. Rob is someone who, when he lets lets go, yeah. and which he has done so much in you know the last five, ten years of his filmmaking in a post Twilight era, yeah. um, he is fun. Yeah, we have had a great time. I mean, I worked on I don't know a dozen things with him over the over the years, and uh, it's just been really really fun to watch the trajectory of his career.